Have you ever dreamed of seeing the distant future? Or maybe just fast forwarding to when hoverboards finally exist? In the world of cryonics, many scientists believe freezing ourselves is the way forward. But could it actually work? This is how to survive cryopreservation. Imagine waking up in a futuristic room, feeling completely disoriented, like you've just woken up from the longest nap ever. You're surrounded by a smiling group of doctors who welcome you to your new life in the year 2200. The sinking realization that all your friends, family, and loved ones are gone forever sets in. Unless, of course, they chose to be cryopreserved like you. How does cryopreservation work? How long could your body last? Is there a risk of mental decline? Unfortunately, there's no guarantee that cryopreservation will actually work. Experts in the field openly admit that we cannot defrost someone and bring them back to life with our current technology. But many believe that, in the distant future, such technologies will exist. In fact, over 200 believers have already signed up to be cryogenically preserved at the Alcor facility in Arizona. Before you become a human popsicle, listen closely if you want to make it out alive. Step 1. Save your money. Cryopreservation is a very expensive process that requires special equipment and knowledgeable staff. On average, the procedure can range between 80,000 to 200,000 US dollars, depending on whether you freeze just your head or your whole body. Step 2. Alert your loved ones. Before you can go through with the process, be sure to make your wishes known to your family or whomever holds a power of attorney over your estate. Legally, they'll be responsible for contacting the cryonics company at the time of your death. This is a huge decision. Be sure to speak to your loved ones and a therapist about it before you go through with it. Step 3. Plunge into ice. As soon as you've been reported as deceased, a team will plunge your body into ice water to slow any biological deterioration. This is done by using a body bag filled with an ice water slurry to lower your temperature quickly and uniformly. Step 4. Inject an anticoagulant into your bloodstream. A cryonics team will inject your body with an anticoagulant to prevent your blood from clotting. Then, they perform chest compressions for at least five minutes to pump the anticoagulant throughout your body to all of your blood vessels. Step 5. Drain your bodily fluids. A funeral director or team member will introduce a thin tube into your left and right carotid arteries to drain the blood and water from your body. At the same time, a cryoprotectant agent will be inserted to stop ice crystals from forming inside you. This will help maintain the structural integrity of your body. Once complete, the body will be sutured shut. Over about a week, your corpse will be cooled to negative 196 degrees Celsius and moved into a special insulation pouch filled with nitrogen to keep you frozen. You will then be moved to a long-term storage unit known as a cryostat. Step 6. Wait a long time. As promising as cryopreservation sounds, we might not know if it actually works for a hundred years or more. That's a long time to be asleep. Speaking of which, could we actually survive without any sleep whatsoever? Well, if you're wide awake and eager to find out, keep watching How to Survive.